Hello, my name is Maria Vigorito Lopez, and I'm the Associate Executive Director at Catholic Charities Disability Services. A few weeks ago, the New York State Alliance for Inclusion and Innovation asked that human service agencies send them letters to talk about what they're going through during this horrible workforce crisis that is impacting all of us. They're sending these letters every week to the governor's office, to OPWDD leadership, and to the legislative leaders. I'd like to share with you the letter that I wrote on behalf of our amazing staff here at Catholic Charities. To say that our field is going through some unprecedented times would be a major understatement. I have personally been in the field for over 20 years and I have never seen anything like what we are experiencing now. As if COVID did not devastate us in 2020, the loss of lives for so many of our individuals, staff becoming deathly ill and bringing it home to their families, the lack of proper PPE in the beginning of the pandemic, entire houses coming down with the virus, and now we are in an unbelievable staffing crisis. Catholic Charities Disability Services is a smaller agency when compared to some of the larger ones out there, but we have felt the impact just the same. In late spring 2021, we had a strong sense that things were going to get much worse with our already suffering staffing situation. By the beginning of summer, we knew we were in trouble. We tried everything, more advertising, virtual job fairs, schedule changes, nothing was making the impact we were hoping for. The directors of residential services, the associate executive director and our executive director started covering shifts in our homes. In July, we realized it still wasn't enough. We had to temporarily close one of our four bed iris, relocating the individuals to another home and even having one of the individuals stay with their family. That house is still not reopened. The individuals want their home back. It's such a simple ask. However, we just can't make that a reality for them at this point and it's not fair. Shortly after this, we had to start having all our office staff complete a four hour shift in one of our homes every pay period. We have admin assistants, bookkeepers, ICS staff all helping out, but sadly, it still isn't enough. Please don't misunderstand that we much appreciate all of the help they are giving our residential department, but they are limited in the ways that they can help. They do laundry, they clean, they do recreation with our individuals, but it doesn't address the fact that we need trained DSPs and management staff in these homes. These are the folks that are responsible for the day-to-day hands-on, back-breaking work, but we just don't have enough of these incredibly generous heroes. Our staff are exhausted. As the Associate Executive Director for Catholic Charities Disability Services, I am exhausted. Trying to do my job while working a shift almost every single weekend since June has taken its toll on me and I can't even begin to imagine how our residential staff are doing doubles most days and even triples when needed. Once upon a time, we were very careful never to let any staff work more than a 16 hour shift. Now, it's the norm all the time. It has got to end, but how? How will we get through this? These are the things that keep me up at night and haunt my dreams when I do sleep. We have tried increasing our base salary for new DSPs. We have given stipends to our staff for weekend work. We even started holding in-person job fairs, again, that have proven to be ineffective. Like most other agencies, we hope that once the additional unemployment benefits ended, we would be flooded with applications. It turned out to be more like a slow drip from a leaky faucet. Our amazing HR team has been working tirelessly, but yet very little applications are coming in. Why? 
Once upon a time, I can remember holding job fairs where we had to turn people away because there were so many applications and not enough positions. Staff used to fight over overtime because there wasn't enough to go around. Now, we have to beg staff to work, but again, they're exhausted. And all the money in the world can't take the place of spending quality time with their families, and this is what they deserve. They don't deserve to work 80 hours a week, making $14 an hour, and this needs to change. Our staff have one of the toughest jobs in the world, and it's about time they were recognized for that. We and all other agencies will continue with this struggle until real changes are made. How many agencies need to close because they just don't have enough staff? How many individuals need to lose their homes because there's no one left to care for them? The time for change must be now before it is too late. Lastly, let's talk about how this is impacting our individuals because like our staff, they are tired. They are tired of seeing staff come and go, tired of having their favorite staff resign just because they can't do it anymore. Tired of having to trust a new staff who may only stay for a few days before they quit. They're afraid of losing their homes, and I can't even imagine how upsetting that must be for them. At Catholic Charities Disability Services, there is one home that I do most of my extra hours in. I've become very fond of the individuals that live there. Every week we have the same conversation. They're deathly afraid of their home closing. They beg me to tell them the truth and after I tell them the truth, that I honestly can't promise them that they may have to temporarily move or perhaps permanently move, I have to go in the bathroom to hide my tears because no one should have to live with that fear. At present time, the home has a site supervisor and one full-time staff. That's it. Staffing this house is incredibly difficult and the ladies that live there, they feel it. Last week, one of our individuals called our executive director in a state of panic, worried sick that he would have, we would have to close his home. Where would he go? What would he do? Again, how can you possibly reassure someone that we are doing, we are going to do our best not to let that happen when we ourselves aren't really sure of what the future holds? In addition to this, our families are gravely concerned and rightfully so. We are doing our very best to make them understand that we are not giving up. We will keep fighting for our staff and keep supporting them in every way possible, but I understand their fear. So many of them are petrified at the thought of what would happen to their child when there's no one left to care for them. It is absolutely heartbreaking to listen to a parent in their 80s talk about how they could never take care of their loved one at their own home and be able to provide the care they need should something happen to the agency. In closing, I ask one simple favor to anyone and everyone listening to this letter. Help us. Help us all in the field of disability services. Make the calls. Write the letters. Send them to the powers that be. Help us fight for our individuals and staff because no one deserves it more than them. Thank you.